Hey everybody, it's been a little while. A bit of a painful video this one, more than a little bit of a painful video. After a lot of deliberation, a lot of chats with my good friend James and other Saab specialists, and with my wife, my bank account, etc, etc, I've very sadly decided to call the 900T16 Bell project to a close. It's got so close and I was really excited. So what's changed? Well, the, the car went after James, my good friend at Crib Speed, and got up on the ramps, had a look at it, and he was saying that to get it MOT'd, it's probably only looking at around about sort of 2,000 ish pounds. There's a little bit of welding that needs to into the car, which the welder had missed. Not a huge amount, but then it's where the it's where you draw the line. The, the petrol tank needs to come out to do a little bit of welding. And then of course, while that's out, you do the usual bits, you clean out the tank and uh, sort of paint it, make it look nice. And then whilst that's out, you sort of maybe look at sort of painting the floor in that area. That's not a big deal. But when we were pulling the car up onto the trailer, the front offside spring snapped. Again, not a big deal. And James said to me, do you have any springs, I said I do, I've got a set of blowing springs and a set of dampers and of course then the sort of conversation went around to well it makes sense just to get it all done at the same time because obviously it needs a spring and it's past the MOT and of course while all of that is off and the welding is being done the paint guy was also suggesting that and it makes absolute sense as does you now the conversations with James and myself to paint the components that are off the car as well, paint the you know the suspension arms and fit the bushes and everything else. And very quickly the idea of having the car MOT'd cheap sort of runs away with itself a little bit. And the all of that work was work that I wanted to do to the car. My apologies if it's picking up wind in here. Let me just close the windows. Um yeah, the all of that work I intended to do, but it's timescales as well. It it massively sort of impacts on how long the work will need to take to to complete. Uh, obviously, James is tied up at his end with ramp time and the like, and it risks to get the car to the point that I really want to get it to is quite a different financial and time prospect to just get my car on the road sort of bare minimum as was the last video that I shared sorry it really is windy um, the last video that I shared with you all and it's getting colder now the winter setting setting in should I say and it's not going to be MOT'd for January not in the way that I want it to be and yeah, it's been a year now. It's been a year uh, in a really amazing journey, exciting journey with the car. But I don't feel that for me, with a family and juggling three jobs and just having a bit of a life as well, it's not the amount of... I don't have the time or the spare money to be investing in the car in the way that I had was... Sort of quite happy to do so a year ago, you know. Sort of life changes a little bit, things shift, priorities change. So yeah, really sadly, I've decided to to part with the car to put it up for sale. Now, the car is way too good to break. I do hope that I have saved the car. I think all of the welding and everything else has been done to it. Getting the interior back together, all the sound deadening, everything else. It's all been massively helpful in in saving the car and i'd very much hope that whoever else takes the car on sees the the huge potential in it as i did you know it's got this incredibly rare color combination the bell green and the beige leather that's all been professionally retrimmed that huge expense the previous owner it's solid now our oh, best part solid needs a few little bits for the mot all of the electrics work the windows work the sunroof works it starts on the key every time.
It's obviously on a Abbott system, Coney dampers, it's got the Abbott charge cooler, Carlton ECU, Carlton three spokes, it just goes on and on and on. The bonnet's solid, that's been welded up. It's got nice headlights in it that replace, nice grill, just loads and loads and loads of bits and pieces that I've been doing to it. And the thought of somebody else taking it, whilst it's not my business what they do, that the thought of somebody else taking it and breaking it would be gutting, but the car is you know worth a significant amount of money in parts. But yeah, that, that's kind of between the buyer and their desires for the car really. So yeah, a really sad one. It's it's coming up to Christmas time. This should be a time of celebration and festivities, but it's yeah, I'm not going to be sort of saddened by it. It's been a yeah, I've been a little bit quiet on YouTube for the last couple of weeks. I think I last posted the video here saying, "Yep, it's going to go off to James very shortly." But you can only deal with information as you have it at the time. And in reality, you know, James was saying that he could crack on and, and have it MOT, bare bones MOT, you know, within, you know, including the bits of welding for, you know, within a week, 10 days. But it's just too many sort of unknowns with the car from after that, um, knowing that bits and pieces are going to have to come back off of it again. Um, you know, the, the, the brakes on it at the moment are fine. He was saying that one of them needs freeing off the MOT. But again, I wanted to fit the 9,000 calipers and everything else. And it just seems that getting a bare bones MOT in it for now, getting it legally roadworthy and then running it around, as was the plan, it feels like it's going to constantly be on and off the road. And I can't afford the time to be doing that. And because, you know, James and my other Saab friends are so busy as well, if... I run into a snag with the car, run it around for a week or so and then it has to come off the road. It might be that they can say yeah, I can get it in for you next month and I, I can't really, you know, I'm wanting to use this as a daily car and I can't really have that sort of sense of uncertainty with it. So yeah, there's there's loads of loads and loads of reasons to keep it, a thousand reasons to keep it, um, or maybe 900 reasons to keep it and maybe 999 reasons to to move it on so yeah sadly that's what I've decided to do so as you good people on here have been following the journey I will obviously give anybody on here first refusal for it um, do keep an eye out on for an advert on Karen classic very soon it will be going up on there and yeah it is what it is I'm not yeah I'm a little bit sad by it I'm more than a little bit sad but it's I'm not being forced into the decision and that's the important thing it is my decision it's my choice and that's what I've decided on balance needs to happen I would dearly 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 love to see it back on the road I'd love to see it back to its former glory the just to kind of um, sort of round up the the thoughts I've had on it is of course to get it back on the road do those bits and pieces do whatever needs doing it does, of course, then also need to be painted at some point, which, you know, for a proper quality paint job, you're looking, you know, sort of £5,000. And again, it just feels like it's, it could easily, it could easily be a very long-term, very expensive project that I look back at. And the risk is that I'll make it such a nice car, you know, fully, fully rebuilt, painted the whole lot that I then won't want to be using it. And having the, the little very privileged to have the little Lancy Delta HF Turbo, that in many ways ticks that retro car uh, sort of box for me. You know, it's front wheel drive, same as a similar power, similar driving experience. Uh, it's not a Saab, I know, but it's Lancia. And to have this and the Delta as two very nice kind of 1989, 1990, 1991 cars that are very similar in many respects doesn't make a lot of sense in the way that I thought that it might have done a little while ago. So yeah, I'm rambling, rambling a little bit now, so I shall leave it there for now. It is starting to rain too, so I'll get this away. But, uh, but yeah, just thank everybody for your journey with the car. I'm not going to... Um, take the channel down, I'll just leave it for a little while for what it's worth. It's been pretty dull at times, so thank you for persevering. 
and I'll yeah I'll just keep on using the channel for other sort of car thoughts and projects and anything else but obviously if anyone's wanting this there's an absolute wealth of spare parts that I've acquired for the car as well that bit by bit I will advertise if somebody doesn't want them with the car but um, yeah uh, thank you everybody for the for the journey and it is just another chapter it's not the end just another chapter and uh, yeah thanks everybody and Happy Christmas. I hope you have a fantastic time with your loved ones, families, friends, etc. And a great new year. Set some good intentions for 2024. Break some of the habits that have no longer been serving you. Maybe there's a little bit of that for me in this. That idea of breaking the habit of ploughing lots and lots and lots of money into cars. And realising that maybe I just want a little bit of a break from that as well. For a while. But um... Dudes, dudesses, it's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, yeah, we'll keep in touch through the channel anyway. Take care. Bye-bye.